Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this spawner, this is a great horse spawner, into a fight pit or a training arena. And how I go about controlling the great dwarfs down there that spawn, and how I go about digging it out. So, first thing you want to do is Clear out some of the uh, gray dwarfs here. And decide which way you want your fight pit to go. So on this one, I'll probably make it go long ways this way just because it's flatter and probably will fit better within this terrain. So, you want to go a little ways back from it and just start digging a hole. Deep enough, the sharp enough edge on the pit that the gray dwarfs get stuck down here. So that's the goal right now. So they shouldn't be able to get out of that. So now, what you want to do. It's easier to do this without a brute. So. Try and get him. So the goal here is to kick them into the pit. Like this guy. We got that guy down there. So the spawners can only spawn three people at any time if they're within a certain distance of the pit. Like this pit here, a little bit too far away, that's why these guys keep spawning. So, move the holding cell part of this a little closer. This is where it can be kind of annoying. guys get in your way once you get a pit that's steep enough that's why they can't get out You want to use your kicking, that's just your arms, like, like if you're fist fighting. 
Kick him in the hole. Then deal with the uh, annoying neighbors because you're trying to deal with something. Okay, anyways. So now that we have these three guys here close enough to the spawner, nothing else from the spawner should show up. So now what you want to decide is if you look how the, these walls are straight. That that you want to kind of decide how you want your fight pit to go based on the grid to make it easier. So we're going this way. Just go ahead and start at one corner. Doesn't really matter where you start. And just dig down as far as you can go. Once you get down far enough, the easiest way to do this, for, and the most efficient is to aim for the corner, then hit. And then you get straight walls. So once you get over here, this way a little ways. So you want to go straight down this wall, you want to aim out away from it a little ways, at the ground. And see, lines up straight with what you're already digging out. Like this, how it's opposite like that, kind of aim for the corner, and I'll take that chunk out. And then while you're down here digging and working, nothing should be able to get to you. You can give yourself some creature comforts. That right there, just a little shelter. Gave me a nice little rested bonus. So now my so that gave me a little rested bonus so now my stamina will come back better while I'm digging. This could be your basic pit that you have right here, just a little square to start out with. And then to make a nice little exit. If you build up the ground so it has the sharper edges, you can't uh, just climb up it. You can then Some roofing or some steep roofing. Um, you can just use some roofing as 
kind of a makeshift way to get in and out of here for now. So. So this is how you want it for now. You want to get these guys spawning. You can just kill them. If you kill these guys, they'll start spawning down there. But I would suggest um, building up the outside walls a little bit. So you can see, you can see how the walls are kind of built up over it, or up on the sides, to kind of protect from the outside environment, mobs getting to it, or, or accidentally hitting it. Then what I like to do, for ease of, um, Protect it, I will build a floor to it. Or open. This is a kind of a good way to see if it's level. So this side needs to come up a little bit more. So just raise this side up a little bit. You know, a basic little structure like this across the top, just using core wood and the basic stuff you would get from the Black Forest here is good enough. So when you're ready to start with when you're ready to start so when you're ready to start having things spawn in here simply come out here kill these guys off and then your spawner will start Like up here, great way to well safety thing to work on your bow. Oh. 
hurt to simply jump down in here. Nice thing about this, since how it's all just stone and wood, everything you get from the pit, you can actually use because you get stone and wood. You can actually use that to help build on to the pit itself. And I have done that with my own so now you can just sit down here wait for stuff to spawn collect the materials and then leave the pit, go work on some of the build, and then just come back down when you're ready. And then to turn it off, then turn it off, all you should have to do is simply cover up the sky directly above it, so you can't see, can't see off to that side, can't see if from over there. So then you can come down here. Clear out everything down here. And then the spawner should be off. And it makes a light around. So you have to have your flooring um, two floor spaces on each side of the spawner. So we got two away from here on this side, on that side, back side, and this side over here. That will turn the spawner off. So you can come down here work on the pit itself and then we need new materials simply come up here expose the spawner itself to the sky and then turn it back on. And you can be down here collecting materials, working on the spawner itself up there, increasing your skills all at the same time.
and then you can finish it any way that you want to. And that is how I go about getting a spawner set up so I can have a fight pit, grab some basic mats, and really use it to level up uh, skills that I don't normally use through the normal plane of the game. Alright, so that will do it for this video. Hope you guys like it. If you like the videos, leave a like and if you want subscribe and join the herd all right thanks guys